everyone welcome back to my channel Denny's journey and I'm Denny today I will be doing a video on how I became a group exercise instructor if you haven't already checked out my video on how I pass after this group exercise exam I have two videos one video talks about the exam like how it's set up um, and then the second video is just some tips on how I passed the first time. Um, if you aren't receiving alerts from my videos, be sure to subscribe, link below, to my channel. So to get started, the first thing um, that I did to become a group exercise instructor was I became, like, I teach two formats. So I teach like a dance format and then I teach um, strength training classes. So the very, very first thing that I did was I got a license to teach Zumba. I just went to Zumba.com, looked up instructor trainings, and um, signed up for a basic one or B1 instructor training in my area. It's an all day course. They give you a CD to kind of help you with your first class. So it gives you warm up, gives you a cool down, and it gives you different routines. Um, so you're supposed to be able to use that sign up to become a Zin member, Z-I-N, uh, part of the Zumba Instructor Network. If you want to um, be able to keep your license, you pay a monthly fee. Um, you have to do that as, you don't have to do that, but um, you only get to teach for a year with whatever you pay to, for your B1 training. So it kind of makes more sense to sign up. And then as you have hopefully seen from my videos, um, I later on got my group exercise or group X certification through app. I was able to teach strength training or cardio classes with my group X certification. So the very, very first thing you have to do, if you want to teach a dance class, get licensed in Zumba. I also teach the Boss Chick Dance Workout. Um, if you want to teach Insanity, go through whatever you need to do to be able to teach Insanity. So the very first step is get a license, whatever you want to do. Step number two. You, for dance, you have to get your routine game up. Like if you were trying to teach a dance class for a full hour, which is what most gyms like a lot for their dance classes, like you need to be able to have at least at least 16 um, songs, 16 routines that you know, front and back of your hand, um, so that you're able to do it in, in front of a class. Um, so like I said, I started off with Zumba and that was, um, not a slow process for me, but I don't have any like dance background. So Zumba does give you monthly um, choreography. The only issue for me with my dance routines is I have to like the song because you have to know the song front and back. You have to know when, you know, the chorus is coming up. You have to know when there's a weird break in the song. So I don't like all of the Zumba songs. So, and you are allowed to use like outside, like pop songs, reggae, reggae tone hip-hop you are allowed to use outside music so one because I'm not a dancer two because I'm not a choreographer um, it took me a little bit longer to get you know a set of routines up that I knew not only that I knew but I could also do for an hour straight when I say get your routine game up like I'm not even talking about just dance I'm talking about you know my strength training routines I um, when I first started teaching my classes, I would write out my routines. If there was a, you know, specific exercise that I wanted to do and I felt like I was gonna forget, you know, like when you're in front of everyone teaching the class, I didn't have a problem writing it down and referring to it, you know, throughout the class. Um, or if I knew, sometimes certain classes break down like how uh, much time they want you to teach a routine. So for example, um, like there may be a class where you have to do like 20 minutes at, core work, 20 minutes of legs, and 20 minutes upper body. So I would come up with routines that would fill that time slot. So, because the people who are coming to the class, that's kind of what they're expecting. So you want to make sure that the people are getting, you know, what they want when they're taking their time to come out to your class. So definitely with dance routines, you know, get your songs, get your routine game up, and even with the strength training, if you can't think of, you know, varying um, exercises that, you know, um, someone could do at a basic level and then when you have your your elite people in your classes like if you can't do that off the top of your head I would say to start off by just writing it down no one's going to be mad that you're referring to routines during your class also do the routines yourself so what I will do is 
you know, if I'm doing a workout at home, I will look up, you know, leg workout at home. And I'll, you know, if I see a move that I like or a routine that I like, I'll just take that routine and use it in class. Um, and then the same thing, especially for Zumba, any type of dance, like look up, you know, Zumba, um, you know, XYZ song, choreography. And there will be people, I mean, some songs are more popular than others, so you'll have more choreography to choose from. But people are putting choreography on YouTube all day, every day. So I would definitely say if you have trouble coming up with routines yourself, or even if you're looking to like substitute, like if you don't like the chorus, if you want to substitute a specific um, routine just for the chorus, you can look up routines and see what other people use, and you can either take that, or you can um, like, oh, okay, I like this, but I'm gonna tweak it this way. Another thing that's helpful for me, or has been helpful for me, is I am in a Facebook group um, for Zumba instructors, and so, um, you know, it's a very social group. We exchange ideas, we are able to sub out each other's classes through the group, like, hey, can we sub this class, or um, anyone want to take this class, I don't feel like teaching today. So that's also another resource if there is one in your area with your gym, I definitely think that would be helpful. So the third tip is when you have your routine game down, obviously more specifically for my dancers, um, audition. Start to look for jobs. So what I did was um, the gym that I was going to at the time, I applied there directly and I got a call back and I had to audition via video. They told me um, what types of routines, and this was for Zumba, so they told me what types of routines they wanted to see and like they wanted like a salsa, a merengue, a, you know, pop and something else. And I had to email that to the um, representative. And so I did end up getting an offer there, however, I did not end up working there because I had researched, I guess, like what the average price is for a group exercise instructor. And I also um, knew how much a particular teacher was making when she started at this gym. And they gave me less than how much she was giving. And I was like, and I asked, I asked, you know, I said, I know. <laughs> I know people have started at this rate. Why am I? Why am I getting a lower rate? And uh, the person just kept telling me it's a good rate. It's a competitive rate. And you know, at the time I was being offered three permanent classes a week, which is really good. Um, but the classes were like at eight at night and then eight in the morning on a Sunday. Um, and they weren't like super close to my house and I outweighed the pros and the cons and I just felt like I was getting shortchanged and I turned it down. Um, I did, however, after I turned it down, I kind of regretted my decision because I was like, oh man, like I just really kind of need the experience and it wasn't that much lower than what she was getting and you know, I kind of beat myself up about that for a while. However, so this was in May of 2016 and um, like I said about like my routines, I was still kind of working on the routines and so I had some that I like knew that was solid in the summer. I was like, oh, I might forget to move like in class and I'm nervous, I'm like, yes. um, So I just decided to keep on working on my routines because I knew I obviously wanted more than 16 songs anyway. So um, I kept looking um, for different jobs. I was going to different gyms. And then um, in December, no, backtrack. And then there was this gym that I was going to. And then one of the formats that I teach, the Boss Chick Dance Workout, I thought it would be a really good fit at a particular gym. So I just reached out to them. I said, hey, I teach this format. And the creator of the Boss Chick Dance Workout, she has given us like a pitch email. So I just used that, tweaked it. Um, I re recorded a routine of myself and I said here are some other routines like this is you know a legit dance workout and I think it'd be perfect for your gym. Um, so they auditioned me. I auditioned twice and I'm thankful that I was able to audition twice because the first time I didn't do that well. And then they were like well let's fix these things and then come on back to us. So I did that and um, they were like okay cool you know we like you. 
um, we're willing to put you on a sub list. And I was cool with that because at the time, you know, I wasn't working anywhere else. And then shortly after that, I want to say like a week to two weeks after they said, you know, they put me on a sub list, I got a call and said, hey, you know, we were supposed to put this one dance format um, in at this time slot on this day, but that didn't work out. And I think that you would be perfect. So if you want to take it, and I snapped right up, sure did. So I've been teaching at that gym ever since, so that was in November. And then they offered me a higher rate than what the first gym offered me. So I was like, whoop, I know I'm not crazy, I know how much I'm worth. And so then, that was November, so I had this regular class starting in, in November. And then December, um, there was another gym, and I knew they were opening up, opening up a new location. So I... Um, like put my name and on like on some notification thing to say to be alerted when um, you know they were hiring and I got an email and I auditioned. Um, the uh, audition was a group audition and so um, it was like one hour Zumba or dance format, another hour you know yoga, another hour strength training. So luckily the Zumba and the strength training were back to back because like I said December I had my group X certification so um, even though I liked the dance more, like I'm not going to turn down an opportunity to make more money. So um, I'm, I was willing to teach strength training classes as well. So that one I didn't have to send in any video. Like I said, it was a group audition. For the Zumba, we had to prepare through routines, which is about 10 minutes. And then for the strength training um, slash cardio one, I think we had like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so you just, you know, put together a routine of, you know, whatever set of exercises you want to do. Um, and like I said, it was an hour, so we were asked nicely to stay and participate through everyone else's audition, which is, um, you know, what I did. And I got an offer at that gym, but again, to kind of just be on a sub list, like I said, I had my other weekly class and I'm still working my full-time job, so I'm like, cool, that's fine. And then this girl was leaving and she had like a million classes like this was like her for her, her full-time job and so I saw some of the classes that were like semi close to my house and I took those classes on so I've had those classes permanently as well and then other people so since December other people have given up some of their permanent classes and then I was recently asked to take on two more classes so right now I'm teaching like permanently week, on a weekly basis um, two classes on Monday. I don't teach regularly on Tuesdays. Um, one class on Wednesday, a class on Thursday, soon to be two classes on Friday, and a class on Saturday. So from that initial um, offer that I got from the first gym in May, I know I now work at two other gyms, and then this last gym pays me even higher than my second gym. So um, if you remember when I said before that I was like beating myself up about it, I'm like happy now because, you know, you just have to kind of know your worth and sometimes that means you have to walk away, you know, from an opportunity. But, you know, teaching a class is a lot. Let me tell you that. It's fun or it can be fun, but teaching a class is a lot, depending where the gyms are that you go to. Some of them aren't close to your, you know, you're not gonna have old gyms that are, you know, down the street from your house. You have to drive to get there. If you're going after work, you know, you have to deal with traffic. Um, sometimes the classes, you're new, so you're building up your following, you're building up your class, you're feeling people out. So, you know, people are gonna leave your class, people are not gonna like you. Like one class that I took over, this participant was like, you know, where is such and such? And I was like, oh, you know, hi, I'm Denny. I'm taking over the class now. And she like got mad and left. Like she wanted her, her teacher. And so you can't help that. Like people have been teaching for years. Some people have been going to a gym for years. I mean, even I have gym teachers who I like better than others. So I think of it in, from that lens and I don't take it personal or I try not to take it personally. But it's a lot to teach a class. And like I said, if you're also teaching a full-time job that, you know, requires your, you know, full-time attention because they're paying you your salary, um, it's exhausting sometimes. Like sometimes you don't want to teach because, you know, if you don't want to go to the gym one day, you don't want to go. But if you don't, if you want to go to your class, you have to find someone to sub it. If you can't find a, someone to sub it, you have to go anyway. Um, so it's a lot to teach a class. So my recommendation for 
um, teaching personally, I would not accept anything under $20 an hour at all. I think it's too much work. Um, I mean, if you really just want to get the experience, then hey, Godspeed. But for me, I waited and um, I was happy that I waited because I was I ended up getting way more than I really honestly expected. And so um, that makes it a little, a little bit more worth it for me. Don't get me wrong, I enjoy it. I enjoy the people who love my classes, um, but it's a lot of work. And um, yes, you're getting paid to work out, something that you probably be doing anyway, but it's a commitment. You have to work on your dance routines. You have to be fun. You have to, you know, you can be dull and tired. And if you, no one wants a boring teacher. So you get you get up in front of class like, hi everyone, you know, my name is Dan. And you have to bring that energy. You have to, you know, other people, they could, you know, do the little two-step in class, but you gotta be the one like, really kind of giving it to them, so. It's, it's a lot that goes into it. The preparation beforehand, the music playlist. There's just a lot beforehand that goes into it. Tips about music. Um, something that I've heard from other people is that, or just like when you're kind of servicing other people, is that just stay true to yourself. If you like only a certain type of music, um, play that type of music in your class. I would. I, obviously try to cater for the area the type of people who come, who come to your class but I would stay true to the music that I like that I like to listen to so for example since I teach a dance class I can't teach uh, I, I can but I don't want to teach um, a routine to a song that I don't like because like I said you have to know the music you have to know when the course is coming up etc so I pick music that I like and whoever comes hopefully they like it I mean if they don't like it they don't have to come back um, I am a little bit more flexible with the um, my strength training classes I don't have like one there's no like genre of music that I don't listen to so I could always find a song in any genre of music that I like so that's not really an issue but obviously there's types of music that I like more um, so for my strength training classes I'm less concerned about the song I'm more worried about like okay am I gonna do like a Tabata challenge I mean you know some song that is X amount of beats per minute so I do take that into consideration but for Zumba like when I'm when I'm doing a song and I'm loving it like it shows it shows in, the, in your dancing it shows in your facial expression you know I always try to make sure I'm giving my class the energy that I would want you know if I were coming to you know a Zumba class one last tip for the audition you are going to be nervous and it's okay and you're really gonna be nervous if you've never taught any type of um, dance class or anything before so someone asked me um, like what do you wear you wear whatever you wear when you work out so for me I'd wear something like this with some shorts and comfortable sneakers and you know I don't really like to wear leggings leggings make me hot and uh, hot and uncomfortable and I don't like to teach in them so um, I just I'm always in shorts but you know, whatever you wanna wear, if you wanna wear a compression shirt, it just, it's, it's whatever, nobody cares. Um, when I did go to, I did an audition recently and it was a, another group audition for another gym. And they, like some people had Zumba shirts, you know, they had their Zumba attire or work attire, well, the R-E-R-Q, W-E-R-Q attire. <laughs> um, you don't have to, like nobody cares. So that's like the least of your concern. I was also asked about uh, my liability insurance, like if I carry my own, I do not. I haven't had any issues, God willing. Um, I don't think it's a bad idea, I just haven't found it necessary at this time. Some people do, some people don't. Um, if you're just freaked out and you, are, you want insurance, that's fine. I think Zumba actually has an insurance um, like through them it's like not through them but they have an insure a deal with an insurance company where you can get a discount in. So those are all the tips I can think of right now if you have any other questions feel free to 
um, leave me a comment below. I will respond as soon as possible. And if there are any other videos that you would like to see, like if you want to know specifically how to become like a Zumba instructor, I can make a quick video about that. Um, but this is kind of just to get your feet wet if you are like, okay, I want to teach a group fitness class. What do I need to do? Okay, see you next time.